Can you still love those who have turned their back on you and still forgive them from your heart? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. How easy it is for us to forget what it was like when we were once family. The times we shared. How easy it is for us to forget how to love. How easy it is for us to forget how to smile. It's easy to forget. But it's even harder not to love. Family is forever. In today's gospel reading, we have the longest parable in the Bible, if only to tell us that our Father in heaven's love and mercy can never be measured can never be fathomed. This is Jesus' clear response to his critics, the scribes and Pharisees, who accuse him of associating with sinners. Brothers and sisters, let us reflect on two important lessons today. First, if I repent for my sins, I am absolutely sure of God's mercy and forgiveness. Second, I must realize that if my Heavenly Father loves those around me, even the most despicable, I must also have the same love and compassion for those who offend me. This story strikes at the very heart of our Lenten reflection as we examine our relationship with God and with others. Who do you equate your life with in the parable? Is it the son who went away, squandered his inheritance, and lived a literally rotten life, but in the process learned much about himself, grew in wisdom, and realized how foolish he was? Is it the son who thought he was good and obedient to his father, but who felt incapable of genuine love and forgiveness? To him, justice must be served 
His life of service to his father must be repaid. His love had a cost. Or is it the father who never lost his love for his children, no matter how unworthy and ungrateful they may have been? He was ready to welcome them unconditionally with his forgiveness, even if they have disrespected him. I guess most, if not all of us, identify with the elder son. Unlike the father who loved and forgave, we can have hearts of stone that are hard to break for the grace of God to enter and forgive. Our prayer today should be to love, to see beyond the sin, and look at the humanness of the sinner who, like us, constantly commits mistakes and are in need of forgiveness. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, may I see you in every person, especially those who have offended me. May my love and compassion for them be greater than the hurts they have inflicted on me, because I too need your love and forgiveness. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.